Hi, I'm Tony Kent and this is Tony Kent Writes and Recommends. I think it is episode four. Uh, the reason I've lost count is this is an irregular series. This is not something I'm trying to do most days like Tony Kent Chats. Uh, and instead it's designed to, I guess, fill a bit of a gap when there's not much really to talk about uh, in terms of my own writing. Uh, and really to bring to your attention some writers who I really enjoy. Uh, they're normally writers who are writing today, they are normally writers of series, and they are quite simply just the writers that when I am not writing and I have some free time, I want to sit down and read. Some of them will write very much within the genre that I write, so the, the, the kind of action thriller side of things. And in fact, our last two recommendations, Neil Broadfoot and Mason Cross, both Scottish authors as well, were very much within that category. Today, we're staying Celtic, However, we are going outside of the category because what today's author writes about is nothing like anything that I write about, but it's extremely good. Her name is Jane Casey, so she is uh, a writer from Dublin, which is where my mother comes from, funnily enough, and I believe comes from quite a close part of Dublin to where Jane comes from, but that's just an aside. Um, yes, Jane writes the Maeve Kerrigan novels. Now, I want to say the DC Maeve Kerrigan novels because that's how they started out but it's been a while now that she's been DS Maeve Kerrigan and so let's just say Maeve Kerrigan. Now these novels they are I have to say some of the most realistic depictions of police procedure and of the development and building and investigation of a prosecution case that I think I have seen written anywhere so whether it's in whether it's in book form whether it's the sort of stuff we see on TV put it this way uh, we've all seen Law and Order UK. Whoever was writing that should have just given their computer or their laptop or their typewriter and just let Jane write it. Because frankly, what she writes and what she puts Maeve Kerrigan through is so much more realistic to what I witness, not as a writer, but as a criminal barrister, to what I witness day after day after day in murder case after murder case after murder case. Now, Jane gives a lot of credit to her husband who is, in fact, a criminal barrister, a prosecutor. Uh, I happen, totally independently of Jane, to know him well. And he is an exceptional prosecutor. He's one of those annoying barristers who really does know what they're doing. However, I've also spent some time with Jane, and I have to say she shouldn't give so much credit away because she is clearly switched on and clearly knows about what she's writing. So what is Maeve Kerrigan's book? What are the Maeve Kerrigan books? Well, they are, as I say, they are police procedurals, but they are for me, they are certainly my favourite police procedurals because what they mix is intense reality in terms of the books, in terms of the investigation, in terms of the crime side of things. Everything about it just smacks of realism. And it really does. Nothing can be completely accurate. I've explained this in, in different videos. I mean, I've written court scenes and I use my own experience for that. And they can be accurate to a point, but they've got to be sped up and they've got to be heightened and they've got to be stylized. And, and that's unavoidable because we're writing entertainment. The same is true of the murder investigations in Jane's books. But they are, again, as close to real as you can get while still writing an entertaining novel. And God, they're entertaining. Because what we also have in these novels, in the, uh, in the Maeve Carrigan novels, is just an incredible central character. It's really cliched, I think, these days, and you see it more on TV and in bad books, but it's, uh, it's really cliched that you have your troubled detective, you know, there's a drink problem, or there's a troubled marriage, or there's all these... Maeve Carrigan doesn't have any of that. Maeve Carrigan is just a really good detective and a really solid person. She's ambitious, she's clever, she's strong, and... She's kind of what you want your daughter to be if your daughter was to be pursuing that kind of career. Uh, you know, it's not the sort of thing where you say, oh, yeah, you don't want to do that kind of a job because look how messed up everyone is. Maeve Kerrigan is not messed up. She is somebody who has a personal life. We see her personal life. You see her career develop. I mean, really, really, the way these books work, you really are following a series. You're really following someone's life. And that life just happens to be a life that involves a very interesting job. There is another character who appears in the second book, who is, I, I hate pronunciation, but Josh DeWant, and I'm very sorry, Jane, if I pronounce that wrong, who is one of my favourite police characters in any book, because he's like so many police officers that I've met, and I can only assume, Jane, that he's like police officers that you've met. He's a bit of a bastard. He's not, you know, someone that you would particularly like 
Um, you'd probably like him for, for, for to go out for a beer with, uh, but you wouldn't particularly like him as your boss. And yet, as you carry on, as you, as you get through more and more of the books, he plays a bigger and bigger role. There is a, a frisson between himself and Maeve Kerrigan that I don't think is giving anything away. And, and he grows as well, and, and you just see this sort of layered character. And I think that's what is wonderful about the books, is that you see these characters grow, but you also get to know them in such a way that the more you're knowing about them isn't necessarily their growth, but it's just the underlying layers. It's, you know, it's the real people that are there. They are brilliantly drawn and they are brilliant books. Uh, the most recent, um, well, the second most recent because The Cutting Place has just come out. Uh, the most recent before that was Cruel Acts, which won the Irish Independent Crime Book of the Year, which is an incredible accolade when you consider who she was up against. And the most recent, which, as I say, The Cutting Place, is, as I understand it, now being serialised in the Sunday Times. So it's an incredible opportunity now for you to buy the Sunday Times, and it is Sunday tomorrow, so it's a very, very current opportunity to buy the Sunday Times, read something that Jane has written about Mate Kerrigan, and then go back and read the rest. Because frankly, as the series goes, it is, it is very difficult to recommend another one that really does get under the skin of the main character to the same extent and make you really feel like you know them and feel like you're following their life for an extended period. It's wonderful to get a series with many books. There are 11 books in this series. It may even see you out the entire lockdown. So, Jane Casey, highly recommended. And uh, I think that's it from me for today.